Hi guys, today we're going to take care of our crack problem. Yeah, we have a crack problem. I'm short so it doesn't bother me, but um, in the tub surrounding, as you saw in our previous video, we found a crack in our shower. We are now going, okay, let me rephrase that. He is now going to attempt to uh, pull it out. It should be easy peasy. Pull out the crack? The whole sur tub surrounding, and it should take, I'm saying, 30 minutes. You think so? Yeah, because you're a pro. He's a pro. I'm not a pro. He's a, very, he's a good pro. Yeah, so that's what we're going to need. I think we're going to need this guy, this cock. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you call it? <laughs> Eventually we'll need that. <laughs> we'll need this. <laughs> Eventually and, we'll need that. Thanks. <laughs> and he's got his bag of tools. <laughs> I think we got this. Well, as y'all know, I'm Kevin. Yeah. I'm Kim. And we are part of KKOA, or Kevin and Kim Outdoor Adventures. So, uh, and we're going to tackle our crack problem. We are going to take care of our crack problem that we had in their shower. Yes. So, uh, we're not professionals by no means. You've seen some of our other videos, so we'll probably make mistakes along the way. But, no, shit, but that's why I have you here. Yeah. So, anyway... Uh, just as always, if you guys if you guys like what we do, you know, and continue to uh, support us, we just ask y'all continue just to follow us and give us those thumbs up, and we'd love the comments. So please make sure y'all send the comments. Yeah, and I have a question for you. Um, in your relationships, who is the handy person? No, I'm. Why are you laughing? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. Okay. Why are you laughing? I'm nothing. Okay. So I have a question for you. In your relationship, who is the handy person and who is not? She's the handy person. I'm just, I'm just. You know. No, he's he's more aggressive and goes for it. But I know someone. Um, she is more so right. in the family. So I was just curious. The ratio is it the more guys or do girls go in there? Oh, actually, I know another person. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the girls, um, not me. Please leave a comment and let us know who does more of the work, you know, the handy, hand, I don't want to say handyman, handy person around the house, the guy or the girl, or both. All right. Should we begin this adventure? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Well, here we are in the shower. So, as if y'all remember in the previous uh, episode when we were first starting to uh, clean out our camper after the winter, uh, this tub surround had gotten a big crack from from the cold so uh, it looks like it doesn't look like it's too difficult or anything to tackle uh, hopefully it's not too much when we get into the water or, or whatnot just looks like a few screws maybe cut some caulk that's around and then uh, I'm more concerned about attachment to the tub yeah uh, it looks like it's it should be separate piece and uh, just the caulk that goes along the, the side or anything just else. Slice it? Yeah, I think we'd probably just be able just to cut that and slice that. What about the uh, air hose? Air hose? <laughs> the air hose. The shower. <laughs> the shower head. The shower head just held on by a couple screws once oh, again. Okay. And so, uh, you know, so take those off. probably take all this off, take that off. And start with that. Start taking off the. Uh, that's going to be the part that's probably going to be a little bit tricky. But Did you turn the water power off? We have no water. <laughs> this isn't a house. Well, okay. Well, so, but, uh, that's why he's a professional and I'm not. But we probably ought to take a look and see what part that they sent us. Oh. And we'll kind of go from there. We'll so order this once we discovered that there was a problem, that they did have a crack. And uh, we had reached out to Forest River, who's the manufacturer of this. And I like to just kind of give a hats off to Forest River because uh, they actually replaced this under warranty. Uh, this they gave they sent us a whole new tub surround, uh, absolutely free. So we didn't even pay for shipping or anything. So uh, hats off to Forest River and their great uh, support and customer service. So let's see what we got inside here. Just the box. Bubble wrap. That's our enjoyment. 
All right, so it looks like they kind of got this on there pretty give us some tape. I'm thinking we're probably going to need to kind of either lay it out flat or because they, they shift it kind of rolled up. So it probably does need to lay out flat before installing it. I thought it needed to roll out, but I guess once you popped it out, it kind of folds up. Okay. That's what it means. All right. Let's get it in. Should we make sure that that's going to fit first? How? All right. Let's get a tape measure just to make sure. Do you want? All right. So the first thing we probably need to do is we probably need to trim all this caulk on the edge. Just take a regular box cutter knife or blade or pocket knife or something like that and just kind of, you need to cut loose of all the cog. So now we got to go and remove all the screws. Let's have a question about the community. The question is, how much renovation have you done in your RV? Like, what are some of the things that you had to replace or fix or you just wanted to upgrade? The one thing that tools you will need, one of the, one, the, these aren't regular screw heads, so they're actually the square tip. So most RVs, for some reason, they put square tip instead of Phillips head. So I have to pick you up a square tip in order to take all this stuff out. I think I'm going to put these in my drill and go a little quicker. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Yes. I have no idea. Alright, this should speed things up. Okay. So we'll go through and take all these screws and three. Then we'll uh four. Five. Continue on. Six. Kind of a little bit of pro tip, you may want to put the, the plunger, the plug inside the drain just in case. To prevent any screws from going down your drains. Like you just did. There. I just thought about that. Looks like there's some caulk. There's some caulk that's actually around this as well, so go ahead and trim that. So you don't lose it. What's all that? All right. Uh, one thing you want to do is make sure that your water pressure, uh, that you have the water pressure turned off. So that way, uh, no water will make sure that there's, because it looks like we got to connect, disconnect the water lines. I'd really would hate for water to spew out. Yeah. It looks like in the back, you'll have your connections for both your hot and cold water. Uh, probably one thing I would suggest is to make sure that these things don't fall down behind the wall because that might be a little difficult. So, but we're going to just, they just unscrew off. Okay. Let's see what it looks like in inside of what you just did. So where were you turning? What were you turning? Oh, those white things. Right, this is actually what connects up your, your water lines, your hot and cold water. Now we verify all our screws are out, so it looks like we should just be able to, now that everything's out, we should just be able to pull it apart. Uh, keep in mind, there's some double-sided sticky tape that I didn't notice on the other one. There's actually a strip that goes. So right now, 
this is kind of being held in place. So it may be a little tough, but it should be the 3M tape that's right here that's actually holding it in. So just peel that dude off. Well, I don't see if there's any water leakage. Oh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Part of that, that sticky tape actually adds as a sealant barrier. So you don't really need caulk, except you, for... It's always good practice to have caulk. Well, it doesn't look like they did. From the manufacturer? Yeah, there's caulk. Oh, well on top. Oh, there was some inside. on the bottom. Good. Careful. All right. That's it. Kim made the suggestion of putting them together since there is a hole down here at the bottom, as y'all remember when we took it out. She said made the suggestion of maybe possibly get a Sharpie, put it up together, and uh, do it. I kind of like that idea, so that way we know where to cut it. All right, we got the new one in. I'm just going to kind of set it there. Uh, the one thing you got to do now is now we need to peel off all the double-sided sticky that uh, that's on the back of all this, so that way you can press it up there. So probably should have done that before I set it in here, huh? Huh? Are you gonna cut the hole, or are you gonna do it after? After? Yeah, I can cut it now. Well, maybe cut it just a little bit. Because it was kind of off. Yeah, it was kind of off, but that's all right. I mean, it's not a exact science, but okay. maybe cut a little bit more this way, and then should because here's the hose. Yeah. Careful. But yeah. But back to our project. It seems okay. I think it's better to do the hole now, and then that way we can peel and stick. Don't you think? Yeah. Good call. See, that's why I have Kim help me with these projects. The last ones I've been by myself. She's the brains behind the operation. All right, that looks good. I got a hole for the... Okay, so now we're going to start peeling, I guess. Yeah. Hey, hon. Huh? It looks like there's a. Uh, the, on the right side, do you have to go inside that little groove? Yeah. Do you have to lift up and over? No, it actually goes. It doesn't go in. It goes on this side of the groove, not the outside. Perfect. As good as it's gonna get, I think. I'm gonna get some of this old cock off. I probably should have probably should have before I put it in, I probably should have took my knife and cut off all the old cock. So lessons to be learned. That's why we do these video videos, so to show you what you should and should not do. <laughs> yeah. This is probably a should not do. I mean you could do it afterward, but it's more of a pain in the butt. It's pretty tough getting my hands back here. Maybe you ought to. Yeah. Get 
definitely want to make sure that these fittings on here are really tight because if you get a, a leak it'll be back behind the wall and it'll cause you some damage so yeah that's a good point and we don't want to do another video on that so just to test things i think i have water go ahead and uh, turn on the turn on the, the pump to pressurize it the pump so that way we can tell if, it, if it's going to leak I'll, it'll determine it's going to leak right now it doesn't, doesn't look like any leak going on here so looks good that's a good tip i would have never thought of that to pressurize it well i figure you, we got it away from the wall we might as well yeah that makes sense that way you're really that way you're testing it beforehand to make sure that uh absolutely it doesn't have doing projects with me he says go this one right here actually goes into the stud it's down the center so make sure that you mark it out and find exactly where your measurement is nice all right there that's the last screw so now that all the screws are in, I think that's all that's left is to uh, do the caulk. Go ahead. All right, so the last step is we need to make sure that we caulk around the tub. What's the purpose of this caulking? It's to prevent any kind of water that gets in here to go behind the walls. Oh. So. So you do it on all four sides? Everywhere that there was a surface you want to go ahead and do, especially especially around the bottom of the tub, because that's probably the most important is the bottom of the tub, because that's where it collects the most. Oh, sure. That's also kind of help hold it in place as well. Well, I hope this encourage, encourages you guys to uh, take on any tasks. Well, that looks kind of fun. Just like that. Get you a wet rag if you got any little excess. So you can wipe up. I mean, these surfaces up here are probably not as critical because the likelihood of water getting down in there but just it probably wouldn't hurt just to go ahead and do it anyway just what to seal the it sides? and the sides okay so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the car uh later time but uh hope you guys just like what kim said i hope you guys are encouraged that maybe possibly doing this this was, wasn't too difficult of a task so if you ever have to replace your tub surround or if you get a crack like we did this uh, is pretty much the step by step on how to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to give us that thumbs up if you like our video. All right, thanks again. We'll talk to you later.